Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Letters Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about how to export the certificate and how to configure the certificate in your iOS phone or iOS mobile. And uh, we will see how to uh, do the recording. So previously I did the same uh, video, but most of you, you have uh gave me feedback that i did everything very quick so in this video i will show it very slowly and i will show you uh each and every steps of how to do it so firstly uh let me show you the first thing here is uh, we are going to get the apache jmeter temporary root certificate from this particular location which is inside your same bin folder which you're going to run so the jmeters i'm going to run the apache jmeter 5.6.3 and I'm going, I've, I've opened the same JMeter file and in the same folder, in the same bin folder, we have a JMeter root certificate, right? So I'm going to export the same thing. I have not made any other changes. I'm going to export the same thing. I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, export, I mean, like I'm going to, you can send it via email or if you can send it via WhatsApp, it's, it's always good. So yeah, uh, let's, let me just, I'll just, I'm going to copy this file and in, in fact, I'll, start recording in my mobile as well so you can watch what i'm doing and yep so i started the recording and i believe you can see what i'm getting now so let me open my whatsapp and yep so this is my whatsapp and uh, let me uh, send the file so i have copied the file and i'm going to send it so in fact i have already sent it but still i'll just show you again so i've sent the file so now you can see i've got the apache jmeter root certificate so i'm opening it now and i'm going to save this file so i'm going to save this file i've saved it already now so i'm saving it and replace so now i have got the file and then i'm going back to the files part opening the files and here i've got the file so here it's it's telling us clearly that the profile is downloaded but i have to review the profile in the settings app if i want to install it so let me click close so now you have understood right so the first part i did is the very first part i opened the jmeter i have taken the apache jmeter file from the pin folder and then i have sent it through whatsapp so in fact let me do one quick thing uh, let me open a notepad and i will tell it to you very clearly i do not want you people to get confused again so what I did is, so the first step is open JMeter. Sorry, just a moment. This recording has stopped. So yeah, so I opened the JMeter. And the second step is I have sent the root certificate from my bin folder to iphone right so that's like a second step and third is i'm going to download the file and fourth is i'm going to set up the file in in iphone right so now let's do that so going back to the settings here and here if you see there's the profile downloaded so i'm going to open it and uh, so previously i have installed it but still anyways i'll do it again for you so i'm going to install the file and i'm going to enter the pin number installed go to more details and I, you can see it's going to expire on 19th of may 2024 let me come back done so now i have got the certificate installed and after this you have to go to the wi-fi or any mobile network what you you have connected so I'm going to select the Wi-Fi and at the bottom here you can see the proxy is manual and the server is local host and the port number is double eight, which is going to be the same settings which we have in our uh, system, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to open the template and I'm going to do the recording, create, create, and I'm going to enable the HTTPS desktop recorder and I'm going to start. So let me do one thing. I'll, I'll just show you what, how to confirm that we are good. So I'm opening Google 
.co.in. So here you can see I have not got anything that's get loader, which is everything is in the proxy of the. Uh, sorry, let me just stop it for a moment. So everything is in the proxy of uh, uh, the local host. So let me enable this, and then I click OK, and let me open the transaction. So let me enter the transaction name or the number. And then, yep, so let me run it. So now when I do the start and when I try to open the application, it won't work. And the reason here is we have not did the certificate trust. So the same would happen to you. I mean, if you have, if you would have uh, missed this step, yes, it won't work. So what is the next step is you have to do the um, sorry uh, let me enable this recording so yep so if you see um, if I if I just try to open uh, any any application like after clicking start in the screen and if I do any recording so it won't work because that is one thing which we miss which is the trusting the root certificate okay so I'm going to uh, let me stop this and the fifth and the main thing is trust the certificate right so let's do that part now. I'm going to open my um, certificate. So if uh, I go to general and just search for certificates, go to trust certificates and at the bottom, you can see the certificate trust settings. Enable this. So this will tell you that uh, it will tell you a warning that enabling the certificate for websites will allow third parties to view any private data sent to website. And yes, that's what we want because we need uh, a third party tool like JMeter to track the traffic the recording traffic so i'm clicking trust and now let's try again i'm going to click start click ok the transaction name is set let me open the application google dot in so yep still it's not working i think we need to fix some more steps let's try that so so far what we did is let me um, show you what we did so far so, so far we have opened the JMeter. You have sent your JMeter root certificate to your iPhone. You have downloaded the file. You have set the file, set up the file in the iPhone. And then you and, okay, let's, okay. I think you and you did uh, trust the root certificate. Okay, let, let's do that, okay. So what I'm going to do is let me try recording those steps now in my phone. So, yep. So yeah, now the recording has started. So what do you, what did you do is go back i'm going to type certificate very slowly open the certificates so uh, don't mistake me the iphone is very uh, faster so that's the reason you could see the screens very quickly but still i'm going to do it very very slowly for you to follow me uh, so just let me do it again so let me go back so you, you are in your general right so, so i'm slowly dragging up go to general and at the bottom of the screen or uh, you can see okay let me just go let's do one thing go to about and at the bottom so under about under general under about let me i can even type it here for you so go to general about and then under that open the certificate okay so open the certificate trust settings and please it should be disabled by default so just enable it click continue so this is going to enable the certificate for websites allow third parties to view any private data yes that's what we need because this will allow jmeter to record the network so i'm clicking on continue so after that i'm clicking on continue so this will enable my jmeter certificate and then i'm coming back all the way what the mistake we did is go to your Wi-Fi, click on the I symbol slowly drag down come to the bottom of the screen 
I'm clicking on the HTTP proxy. And here previously I added HTTP host, uh, sorry, local host. And now I have added my server name as my uh, the IP of my machine. And then the port number is going to be 8888. It's going to be manual. And yes, now every settings is set up now. So what we'll do is I'm going to close it now, open the browser. And now I'm coming back to the thread group, the HTTP script recorder. Let me in fact delete this part. So I'm very slow, I believe. I'm opening the HTTP script recorder, clicking on start, clicking OK. The zero one transaction is here. I'm going to just do one thing. I'm going to just refresh this page because I just have to. So okay, I, I can even try Amazon.co.uk and let's wait for the page to get loaded. Let's wait for a few more seconds. Yep. Finally, the Amazon.co.uk page, or else we can try even the JMeter page, right? The JMeter plugins.org. Let's wait for a few more settings, few more time, few more minutes, sorry. Because it, it'll take a few more seconds. So here, if you see, we have got the jmeterplugins.org. Yes, 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 we got it. So the jmeter.plugins.org is downloaded. And let me click on usage statistics, just in case I want to, if I want to make some, establish some connections. Yes, I'm able to get the transactions, all the CSS page, everything's getting downloaded. Yep, so now it looks like I'm able to, so stats is the usage statistics page. Uh, let me click on the browse plugins page. So the browse plugins page here. Yep, so the catalog, yeah. So look, it looks like it's working, right? So this time I'm very slow for everyone. So I believe this video would be very useful to you. And we have also uh, got lots of other videos coming in the pipeline. And please don't forget to watch my video on the JMeter Bootcamp. I have shared lots of insights to this uh, Bootcamp video. And we have another Bootcamp coming this weekend on 19th of May on Neo Load. It's a four hour bootcamp. So if you want to know more details, join our WhatsApp channel. I'm sharing all the details there. And we have got a lot of interview questions that's been discussed. And we have even got some of our subscribers are sharing uh, some job opportunities as well for people who have experienced, I think from three to 10 years. So please don't hesitate to join our WhatsApp channel. There are like lots and lots of things that are events are happening and uh, I would like to thank everybody, the subscribers, everybody who has joined and uh, showing their full participation. We were clear, we are trying to clear a lot of doubts. Everybody is sharing their expertise and um, everything's going well. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, enable the notification button so that you don't miss any of our videos. So with that, I come to an end. So until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Ashish and your favorite Little Salah YouTube channel. Bye-bye.